When you're creating a community in your org, the Fabicons used, as seen here, is a standard Salesforce Cloud Fabicon. You can replace it with your own so that you can keep a cohesive branding theme throughout your org. And let's see how this is done. So the general steps are, you need to first create the Fabicon file, which is the ICO formatted file, 16 by 16 pixels in size, and then place this file in the static resource section in your org. And then you need to add it to the community header file so that you can link, use a REL attribute to link the Fabicon to the static file that in your org. Let's do it. There are many uh, websites that can convert a standard uh, PNG or JPEG file into the ICO file. And uh, you can find one that, uh, that is suitable to you and just convert a file and download it to your computer. I'm not going to show it here. Uh, let's go to the setup in your org. And then the next step is to place this file onto the resource section in your org. Let's go find static resources. And then we want to create a, a favcon file. I have already done it, so let me just uh, show you how this uh, file is configured. So you need to make this uh, a cache control, you need to make it public. And then you just, uh, when you create, you just link this to the file that uh, you downloaded and you add it here. So once you create this file, and this file is available for you to use in your work. And the next step is to link this file to, the, uh, to your community. So in the setup, page. Let's go to community. Let's go to all communities. And I pick the community I want to work on today, which is uh, also major. If you if you work on uh, Trailhead, you know this uh, community. And I'll go to administration. And go to pages. Click edit. It's here that you want to find the file that you just added. You just search for it, and uh, this is the Fabcon file you just created. And then after you add it here, you click Save. Next, let's add it to the header file. And go to Settings, Advanced, Edit Head Markup. It is here that uh, you input uh, this code. I filled out the, uh, the URL on a separate notepad. So I just copy and paste it here. So this is how the code looks like. And you wanna have a href attribute here. Uh, basically this is the link of your Fabcon file. So before you save it here, you can test this URL separately and see if you can actually see the Fabcon itself. If it does, that means it's a valid link and you just paste the link here. And then you click save. So now you should have this file linked and uh, in your community and just uh, press publish. Got it. Now let's uh, refresh this. As you can see, the Fabcon here has changed from a standard Salesforce Cloud Fabcon to the one of your own. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.